Did you know that Bootstrap has their own icon library? They just released their first stable version of Bootstrap Icons 1.0. In this first version, there are over 1,100 icons. In this video, we'll go over how we can use these in any of our projects, even if we're not using Bootstrap. That's right, these icons do not require Bootstrap. Since they're under an MIT license, they can be used anywhere. What's even better, they are SVGs, so they're super simple to use. There's three ways that we can get these icons into our project. We can use NPM, you can download the zip file from the GitHub repo, or you can simply come to this library page and search for the icon that you want. This is icons.getbootstrap.com. I'm going to use this website and NPM to show you multiple ways. So I just have a blank project folder open here and we're going to NPM install bootstrap icons. And that's just going to download all of the icons. So we have our node modules folder. Within that, we have a sprite, which is basically a file with all of the icons in it. And then we have all of the individual icons. And each of these are just SVGs. So how can we use these? Well, I'm going to create a source folder here and then an index.html file. Then I'll use Emmet to create a boilerplate. We'll name this Bootstrap Icons Demo. So the first way that we can use these is by directly embedding the SVG into our HTML. So let's go back to the library page and we'll look for an icon that we want to embed. Let's just search for microphone, we'll, we'll use this one here. And so now you'll see what it's going to look like, the different sizes, and we have this HTML, and here's some examples. So we can just copy this HTML, go back to VS Code, and we can paste that in here. So we have our SVG, we have a width and a height property that we can set, and notice here the fill color is set to current color. So that's going to allow us to change the color from CSS. So I'm using a live server. Let's go live and start this up and see what we have. So it's pretty small there. Let's go back to VS Code and let's change the size here to 10 rem. Save that and go back. Nice. So back in VS Code, we could add a CSS file here. Add a new file, style.css. And then let's just reference the body and we'll set the color here. Let's set it to purple. And then back in our HTML, we'll need to import that CSS. And let's go back to our page. Now it's purple. I'm just gonna comment these lines out and we'll move on to the next way. So next we can use that sprite image that I showed you earlier. And that's this right here. So again, you can either download it through npm install, or you can download the entire zip file from the GitHub repo. So I'm actually gonna move this down into my source folder for easy access. And then I'm just gonna paste some HTML in here and then I'll explain it. So we have SVGs, each of them have a class and we can control the width and the height and the fill color is also set to the current color. Now within those, we're using the use element to specify which icon we want. So we're referencing this bootstrap icons SVG sprite file. And then with a hashtag, we're referencing each icon. You can get these icon names again from either looking in the icons folder here or from the website. Now again, this sprite file is, is just a big file with all of the icons. So be aware that the file is 500 kilobytes. So if you're only using a few icons, you may not want the overhead of this entire file. So let's go ahead and save this and go back to the browser. And now we can see the new icons and they're still purple because we had that set in CSS. Because that fill color is set to current color, we're able to control that. And if we wanted to make some of these larger, we could just change that here. Go back to the browser. There we go. All right, let's comment these out and we'll go to the next way. And that is by using an external image. So we can use an image element and set the source of the image to the SVG. So in order to do that, we need an SVG to reference. So in source, I'm gonna create a new folder. We'll name it image. And then I'm going to go through these icons and I'm gonna look for the bootstrap SVG. There it is. And so I'm gonna copy this. And then we'll go down to images and I'm gonna paste that in there. 
Okay, so now we can create an image tag and we'll set the source to image and then bootstrap SVG. We can also set our width We can set that to 100 and then we can set the alt to bootstrap. Let's save that and go back to the browser. There we go. Now there are drawbacks to this method and we can still set the size, but we can't easily control the color. You'll see that we have the color set to purple in our CSS, but it's not affecting this image. Now there is a bit of a hack, but I wouldn't really recommend it. I'll show you real quick. Let's go into the CSS here and we'll target the image. And then we can use a filter on the image. So we could invert the color. We could also set the sepia. And we could also set the saturation. Let's set that to 20. And then we can do a hue rotation. Let's do 200 and 75 degrees and let's save that and go back to our browser. Now you can see it's kind of this pink color. So it's kind of a hack. I wouldn't really recommend it. All right, let's comment that out. Go to our HTML and comment this out. And we'll move on to the next method of implementation and that is in CSS directly. So while I'm in the HTML, let's add a div with the class of circle. And that's all we're going to do there. And then in the CSS, we're going to set the background image of that element to the URI encoded URL of the image. So let's first set a custom property. So we're going to say root. We're going to create a custom property or a variable. And we'll name it circle. And that is going to be the URL. So I'm going to copy and paste this in. And then we'll look at it. Okay, so this is a data image, SVG, and then we have the actual SVG. Now, the only thing that we have to be aware of is that we do have to comment out any special characters. So for instance, this hashtag has to be changed to percent %23. Now, if we actually take this and we copy it and let's go to our browser, we'll actually see the icon. Let's open up a new tab here. And that's the actual icon from this URL. So now let's style the circle. That's the HTML element that we created. So we're going to set a width on here of 10 rim. And we're going to set a height of 10 rim. And then we're going to set the background image. And that is going to be our variable of circle. All right, now let's save that and let's go back to our browser. And there we have it. Now the drawback for this method is the color again. We do have to specify the color in that URL. So right here, here's our fill color. So we could change it to purple here, and then let's go back to our browser, and now it's purple. So those are all of the different ways that you can implement these. And so far, everything that we've done has been without any references to Bootstrap. So notice in our HTML, we're not referencing Bootstrap. We're not pulling in any libraries. So if we are using Bootstrap, then we could use Bootstrap to help with the styling. Let's go ahead and add Bootstrap. So I'm going to add just the CSS file here. So this is the CDN for Bootstrap. And then in our HTML, I'm just going to comment this line out. And then let's add in an SVG. This is just one of the SVGs, but we can add this class to it called Text Success. So let's save this and take a look at it. So now we have this green exclamation. We could go back in here and we could change this to warning and then go to our browser. And now it's yellow. So obviously these integrate well with Bootstrap but are not dependent on Bootstrap. So that's the new Bootstrap icon library. They have plans to add more icons very soon. So look out for that. I'll be using these for sure in future projects. Let me know what you think. Will you be using them? Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.